weeks, you will receive uh, your champion award, but there are still Where? other awards, like for the rookie of the year, oh, hey. personality of the year, and the action of the year. And now the Mercedes tire uh, Q had won for first time the first fastest pit stop award. Do you think, <laughs> now my question, that there are enough, enough awards, or can you imagine uh, several you other awards, for example, <laughs> like an award for a fair play, uh, for a special friendly action, or there are no friendly action in Formula One? What your opinion and the opinion of Sebastian and Cardo uh, for this uh, subject? Fair play goes. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> but if we stick to the less good races with bad luck and mishaps such as Baku where the Ferrari hit the barriers in Bahrain where you lost the lead due to an engine problem in Austria where you catch by Max in Monaco, your first home race was very disappointing with last place and probably the low point in hot time this. it was a mistake <laughs> of the driver. And uh, last in Brazil, the finish after half battle with your teammate. Now my question to the pop star of Formula One. What was your okay. best race among your worst races? Can you give us please a ranking regarding your five not so good races, starting with the worst? I'm a polite blurst person or man, Please excuse this question, but I still hope on answer. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that was a long question. Congratulations. Uh, Kevin, you, you can start. Uh, I'm in trance. <laughs> well, you are the pop stars. So yeah. First of all, can you sing? Uh, yeah, I can sing. Uh, I, won't, I won't sing now, but I can sing. I don't know. I, I have no I lost idea what was. Two sentences. <laughs> Kevin? You have to rank your five. Worst, worst, worst races. races. Worst races. Yeah. Five worst. Ra okay. That was a simple question. <laughs> so. So the top five best and top five worst. Wow. <laughs> Take your time, man. Can you? We got. We got. We got a lot of time. So. <laughs> your five worst races. Please. Okay. Um, Wait, so, are we going to make it more complicated, like <laughs> this year or like in his career? <laughs> you um, politely, if you promise you have given two years ago, quote, in ten years you will have to buy my book and can read the explanation for the change of my and Nico's mechanics crew. Uh, it was a good question. It I will remember. be an interested read. <laughs> Do you remember? Now two I years are over, and I want to know if you already have started writing your book. I am now 69 and have the intention to buy and read it. <laughs> I hope I will still have the chance in my life. <laughs> Is it okay so far? <laughs> that's, a good, yeah. that's a good one. I remember as well. I said 10 years ago, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, I've, got, I've got a while now, so you're going to have to wait. A little bit longer. You got eight more years to go. <laughs> Don't make him wait. Say it now. <laughs> eight more years, so I've got a little bit time to to prepare. Um, but I haven't planned to do any anything anytime soon. <laughs> I really don't have any intentions to, to, to do a book. Are you going to do a book? Are you done already? Yeah, I will. I will next year. But look at him. You should say something. You know, <laughs> he deserves it. You know, after the long question. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Yes. But yes. well, I said in ten years, though, right? Yeah. So you got. Now only eight years. Yeah. <laughs> it's eight years to go. Okay. So every every year from now on, you're gonna remind me. Yes. The countdown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir. During the last sir? race in Silverstone. Excuse me. Sir. Costa Zeitung. Sorry. 
During the last race in Silverstone, your teammate Kimi asked for more power, but his engineer refused his wish. Kimi answered indignantly, it's not permitted to me to think for myself. Question. To what extent can you make your own decisions on track and how much is decided remotely on your behalf by the team? I can tell you all that I know a lot of people who don't watch Formula One because technique is too complicated and they feel the races are manipulated. Formula One seems to be more removed from the fans than before. Do you agree with this? And please remember my first question. <laughs> I don't remember the question. Um, well, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember the question. So, um, what was the question? No. Back to the past. 30 years ago, Niki Lauda told us, take a Drake a monkey, place him into the cockpit, and he is able to drive the car. 30 years later, Sebastian told us, I had to start my car like a computer. It's very complicated. And Nico Rosberg said uh, he pressed during the race, I don't remember what race, the wrong button on the wheel. Question for you two both. Is Formula One driving today too complicated with 20 and more buttons on the wheel? Are you too much under effort, under pressure? Uh, what are your wishes for the future concerning the technical program um, during the race? Less buttons, more, or less and more communication with your engineers? Can I ask you who that question is to? <laughs> who, who do you want to answer it? Who's it to? Uh, well, he said, he said, he said, it's oh, sorry, I'll break it. So. He didn't listen. Can you repeat the question? 